Hey guys, this is going to be a collective tarot love message. So that means it's not specifically intended for anyone, but if you have clicked on this reading, there's obviously something that's uh, drawn you here, okay? You've been led here, you've been guided to this reading. Um, something you may need to know, or maybe something you might need to be reminded of. Um, so keep an open mind, okay? So again, it's not specifically intended for any sign, but if you are he, you're he for a reason, as I don't believe there are any coincidences in life. Um, in saying that, if you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, I do offer those. Um, all you have to do is reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below. And if you'd like for me to personalize, like continue on with the messages that we unfold in this reading and explore those messages as an extension, and personalize it to your situation um, just mention that in the email okay otherwise we want to take a look and see um, for those of you that are currently involved with someone romantically okay it, whether you you know whether you're in a um, relationship with this person or whether you know this is someone uh, that's a crush someone you're crushing on so as long as you have someone on your mind we want to um, go ahead and explore what their intentions are for you okay so um, you know, are they sincere? Are they authentic here? What are their um, real and honest intentions? And what are the real and honest feelings that they have for you? There is also going to be a part two to this reading. And in part two, we are going to dive into those messages in more depth and detail. And part two will be made available to you guys via the extension link below. Um, okay, in saying all of, um, in having said all of that, I want you to take a moment and focus on your person. Okay, close your eyes, focus on your person, pause this video, take as long as you have to. Um, and we want to see what are their intentions with you, what are their intentions for the connection. Okay, we want to find out their real and honest intentions. Are they hiding anything for you, from you? Are they being truthful? Are they being honest? Um, is there something that you should know about them that you don't know already? Okay, after all, I feel like there's a reason why you're here, right? Maybe it's to discover something that you haven't, that you don't yet know about your person, to learn something new, or maybe it's just to be reminded of something, or maybe it's just to confirm your intuition about your person, about the connection that you have, um, whatever it is, we're about to explore that. Okay, so think of your person and we're going to begin. Okay, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay. Um, so let's see. We've got some interesting messages that have come up. Firstly, there's this Five of Swords energy, which is really interesting. This could be an indication that you and your person might be going through something right now okay maybe it's something turbulent maybe it's something tumultuous you could be at a disagreement with one another you could be at a disconnection with one another it doesn't necessarily have to indicate that you guys are verbally you know you have a verbal altercation or you guys um you know have had a fight or a disagreement it could be that your energies right now aren't necessarily playing well with each other okay you guys are not in complete alignment with with each other right now okay there's a bit of a discord there's a bit of a disconnection or you very well could be. You might be fighting with this person. You might have had a recent fight with this individual, a disagreement, something that obviously has wedged a bit of a distance between the two of you and it's created a bit of a barrier. And maybe it's something that's, you know, pushed you or your person away. Um, or maybe this is something that is about to unfold perhaps over the next couple, over the next several hours or even the, over the next few days. I say that, I give you that time frame um, because swords are... You know the, it's a very quick moving energy okay it might even happen five hours or five days from now this 
discord, this, dis this disconnection, this turbulent energy, okay? Um, and that's very interesting. I feel like your person um, doesn't, with your individual, I feel like maybe they don't necessarily feel completely understood by you, okay? Um, or they feel, there's this energy of them being very withdrawn, especially with the Hermit's energy, okay? And this could be an indication that right now your person is very withdrawn into themselves and they want some, and it's a purposeful withdrawal as well with the Hermit's energy because, you know, he wants some time of peace and solitude. So your person may be very withdrawn with their emotions. They may have, or, you know, whatever he, whatever that has happened, he may have triggered your person, okay? May have... Um, emotionally triggered your person to pull away there may be some things that have said although you didn't mean it maliciously or anything like that maybe they misconstrued or maybe you know they were triggered by some something that you know was said or something that happened between the both of you um, but i do see that there's this energy of them being very much especially when it comes to their emotions them being very much withdrawn okay and pulled away um it's not, it's funny because I feel like the way that they act is the opposite of what they want. And that, that's very interesting. So I do get this sense of contradiction. So even the Five of Swords could be an indication that this person is at battle with themselves, right? Their heart wants you, but their head says, no, I can't do a relationship right now. You know, maybe they've just recently come out of a breakup. Maybe they're still too attached to an ex. Maybe they have some destructive and um, like self-sabotaging behavioral or emotional patterns that are clearly getting in the way. So that could be a war that is waging on internally with your person. See, Four of Pentacles, they're very closed off. And I feel like with this person's energy, they're already feeling quite possessive over you. Okay, um, They may not show it, but there's this... I see that there's a strong energy of them feeling quite jealous towards you. This person may feel as though, um, you know, there are people around you who you clearly have like romantic suitors, you clearly have their attention and you're clearly attracting romantic suitors. And maybe this person feels like, you know, um, everyone wants you just as much as they do and everyone else around you feels what they do, which is a strong sense of attraction, a strong sense of, you know, them being very much drawn to you pulled to you they do feel the chemistry again you know they have these emotions for you there's this see the devil doesn't do love okay i don't know that this person is you know in love just shared or is in the process of falling in love i feel like this is more lust infatuation and attraction of course that has room like the infatuation the attraction of course there's room for it to grow into love so don't panic um it that's not to say that this person doesn't see themselves falling in love with you. It just could be that this person is trying to protect, okay, is, um, is scared of falling in love with you. So they may have all of these, you know, really powerful emotions for you, but they're scared of opening up to you. They're scared of being, you know, falling in love with you. They're scared of getting hurt. They're scared of hurting you as well in the process. So this is someone who I do, you know, the devil is a very fear-based energy. I do say that this person is very scared of what they feel for you. And they're afraid of all of the feelings that they have for you. They're afraid that, you know, they may just end up falling in love with you. And what if everything works out fine, okay? And maybe this is something that they haven't necessarily experienced in the past, okay? Maybe this is someone who has relationships that have been very turbulent and have been heartbreaking, and maybe they've been conditioned or programmed to believe, um, and as early as their childhood environment, uh, maybe they've been conditioned to believe that relationships, romantic or otherwise, they have to be painful, they have to be, you know, hurtful, and if it's not painful, if it's not toxic, or if it's not destructive, then heck, you know, it's not worth pursuing. And I know it's a very warped sense of thinking, very warped sense of uh, perspective, but this is their conditioning, right? Um, but at the same time, on the flip side of the pentacle, maybe this person feels like, what if they fall in love with you? And what if they get hurt in the process? And maybe they're all too familiar with the pain, but they're not comfortable with it. You know, they don't want to go through all of that again. They don't want to hurt you. Um, they don't want to hurt themselves. They don't want to end up feeling hurt or rejected. So I do get the sense of fear. Okay. So again, if you find that your person, if you find that they're sending mixed signals, mixed messages, if you find that they're inconsistent, say one thing and do another, this can be easily explained away by, by the fact that this person is doing or um, saying the opposite of what they feel, which is ironic because they do have feelings for you, okay? This could also be an ex because oftentimes the devil does represent an ex in a reading, okay? 
For some of you, it is an ex. It is an energy of you having been involved with this person and it didn't work out the first time around. For others, there's clearly a very strong attraction. Could even be a twin flame. I do get even like a, a sense of a twin flame energy that you've connected with recently. Um, the fact that temperance has shown up in the reading here, it is asking, you know, I feel like your energies... Either you have to, your energies have to get to know each other better, okay? Uh, because right now they're not playing well with each other. I just feel like you guys, you know, there needs to be, a, right now the situation needs balancing out is what I'm saying. See, they're scared and they, and you guys need to be able to create a safe enough space where the both of you can open up and share your fears or share your, you know, anxieties or trepidations about, you know, whatever it is that you're feeling, so if you find that your person has pulled away or if you feel them pulling away, okay, whether they're pulling away emotionally or whether they're like they're physically distancing themselves away from you or whether this is the result of, you know, this altercation or this disagreement, this discord that you have going on, give this time, okay? The reason why the temperance card has shown up here is because it's asking for you to be patient with your person. See, I feel like there's a lot going on with your person and I feel like um, they have a hard time explaining themselves, okay? Again, you know, they're acting and saying the opposite of what they're feeling. If you guys are going through a, um, a period of um, disparate, uh, sorry, <laughs> disparation, separation, or a disconnection, or, you know, if you guys, if there's like a no contact, no communication period, they will call out of hermit mode, okay, they will communicate, they will reach out, you will see this person face to face in an exchange of uh, beautiful energy, um, they will respond, or they will be the ones to reach out, or you'll reach out, and they respond, but again, you need to give this space and time, because with this person, there's this you have to know that in their energy, there's this strong element of fear. See, they want this, but they're scared. They're scared of saying the wrong thing. They're scared of doing the wrong thing. They're scared of hurting you. They're scared of hurting themselves. They're scared of hurting the relationship. They're scared to screw up the relationship. There's such an element of fear. And fear is such a powerful energy that it can consume and paralyze people, right? It can paralyze people and um, immobilize them from taking any action. And if you haven't heard from your person, or if they haven't, responded the worst thing you can do is just you know um bombard them with all these phone calls or text messages because you know they may be doing a little bit of running okay and especially if this is a twin flame connection you may be going through the runner chase of um stage of the relationship where you know what they feel is so full on and it's so powerful and so intense that there's just no way of them knowing how to handle it because it's new it's foreign i mean you're the twin flame they've never met you before they've never met anyone like you before so you know it's now starting to hit them they're now starting to realize there is something very different about you there's something very different about what the two what the two of you have and they're pulling away the worst thing you can do is chase them okay because you're going to chase them into a corner or you're going to chase them far away give them space they will come back around trust me and you'll thank me for it later okay because you've got the eight of pentacles which is obviously you know communication this is obviously things moving ahead and at such a rapid pace at such a rapid speed so you will hear from your individual if they're in hermit mode or silent um, if they're being silent now they just need the time to process the intensity of the emotions that they feel for you they need the time to wrap their head around things okay because again you know what they feel for you is very powerful and it's very intense it's also something that is very unique to them like this is territory emotional territory that they haven't explored before i mean in saying that this is new and familiar to you too right i mean you are also feeling that hey this is full on this is intense this is heavy you're attracted you're obsessed you're consumed with each other and i guess you're addicted to each other and i guess those are some you know really good words addicted and obsessed because they are obsessed by you and they are obsessively thinking about you and i think you know, you share the same sentiment, you share the same energy where you are quite obsessed by this person. I mean, and it's not like you want to be, but you just can't help it. It's like the energy is just so enticing. It's so intoxicating. It's so addictive that, you know, it's like you're a fiend for them. You're a fiend for their love. So it's this huge energy of obsession. Um, you know, are they being sincere? Are they being uh, genuine? I don't see any malice in their energy. I don't. I don't feel like they're, um, you know, I don't think they're approaching this with an energy that is not authentic or that isn't sincere. I just pick up a lot of fear in the energy. And 
I think the fear is powerful enough to stop this connection. I feel like the power, the, the fear that they feel, if they don't, you know, work through it, it is powerful enough to consume them. It is powerful enough for them to pull away from you completely. Um, only because this person is scared of what they feel. They're scared of, you know, falling in love with you. Or if they are already in love with you, they're scared of admitting to it. There's just such a fear that if they don't work through it, yes ultimately it can end things between the two of you it can you know end things prematurely and they could end up being the one that got away or you could end up being you know the one that they could have had it's that kind of energy okay i don't think they're approaching this um as in you know they're not being dishonest they're not being um insincere um i don't see any you know malice i don't see any malicious intent towards you i think there's this pure you know uh temperance i feel like there's a pure energy to them okay but i also feel like your person has their demons and i feel like their demons are sort of nipping at their ankles okay you've got both fee and the de uh, death and the devil and that's I know the devil gets a really bad rap, like, right, he's a devil, but it's, it's, he's a representation of the shadow self, and your person has certain shadows that they need to, um, you know, admit to, that they need to closely identify with, uh, either your person is repressing a lot of emotions, um, they could be holding back because of this fee energy that we keep talking about, um, it just could be that your person has demons that they need to work through, okay, um, so certain things are holding them back. It could be destructive behavior. It could be addictions from the past that might be resurfacing again. Um, it could be an ex that your person may still be talking to or is connected to. They may be, and I know it's not something that a lot of you want to hear, but I mean, I think for a lot of you would know by now, my readings aren't all rainbows and unicorns, right? Because life isn't necessarily like that. But um, I just sidestepped on uh, just going back to the devil's energy what was i saying um it's yeah they potentially could holding space um could be holding space for an ex to come back into their life they may still have feelings for an ex okay i'm not saying that they're still in love with their ex i mean it could be let's you know let's put that out there but there could also there's this energy of them having lingering emotions so for example if they've really been hurt in their previous relationship they're still carrying that hurt they haven't processed okay um, they still feel the hurt, the resentment, the anger, and that's still lingering and they're still identifying with that emotion. So that's what I mean by, you know, being attached to the ex, okay, either to the relationship or the lingering emotions of that relationship. Um, but definitely, I feel like you're, I mean, the fact that the lover's card appeared like they're completely nude, the nudity seems to indicate that there is this energy of them being wanting to be open and transparent with you. But... How do they do that when it's not normally them, right? They're normally quite closed off. They're normally quite sheltered. They're normally a little bit guarded, you know, and, and they want to be open. They want to be honest with you, but you're going to have to help them to do that because it's not them. You know, it's just they've always been very closed off or it's not like they've been secretive. They're just self-contained, okay, very withdrawn. And it might be completely different to how you are or it might be similar to how you are, depending on how you identify with that. Um, it's either going to make things li a little bit easier or harder for you. But there is this energy of them wanting to be open about their past, about their demons, about their, you know, shadow self, about the shadow aspects of the relationship. But this is something that I feel like they're going to have to come, you know, to terms with. This is something that they're going to have to work on, okay? Um, I do see a lot, of co um, a lot of contact. I do see a lot of communication. And I do see their... Um, you coming to a stage in this connection where, where things are suddenly propelling forward, where things are suddenly moving forward, okay, where action is taken, where conversations, um, you know, important conversations are being um, exchanged, um, there's this beautiful exchange of energies are happening, and the sprouting ones indicates that there is so much room in this connection for growth, okay, there is room for the connection to grow and build and for the emotions to grow and build so there's so much more room for what the two of you have um you know to grow on that so whatever the two of you have got going on it's like it, it, the connection hasn't even peaked there's so much more room for growth okay so so much room for this to be so much more than what it is but they need to step into you know this energy of fear and they need to face it they need to face those demons head on so if they've had 
if something is troubling them from their childhood or if something is troubling them from their previous relationship or if there's you know if they're engaging in patterns that are destructive that are self-sabotaging that are limiting that aren't necessarily positive or helpful um and if they continue to identify with those patterns or identify with the pain and you know that uh, trauma or whatever it is that they're holding on to yes okay that potentially could hinder this relationship and i'm just being honest guys yes that could potentially end things prematurely between the two of you and it might potentially rob the two of you of the wonderful um, opportunity to get to know each other better right um like everyone else they have their flaws like yourself you have your flaws right um but it's all about you know it's all about identifying with those flaws so you can strengthen your weak like strengthen your weaknesses right turn your weaknesses into strength but i feel like your person is running away from something that's what it feels like to me it feels like they're running um and it feels like they've been running for quite some time and it's it's an odd kind of energy but i feel like they're running from the past they're running from who they were they're running from what they who they are or what they want to be um my question is who are they running to like i know what they're running well you know we get us we know that they're running from something or themselves but where are they running to is my question um and this running energy could very much be an indication of the runner and chaser stage okay because i do see a lot of movement in the energies and it could be an indication that you are in the runner chaser stage of this uh, twin flame connection so that is expected to repeat um a couple more times honestly okay because and that again is just due to the overwhelming intensity of the emotions that your person feels like it's all it's full on it's all very intense it's all very consuming it's all very intoxicating addicting it's alluring it's it's a lot it's a lot okay and your person hasn't felt this way before and it's just too much for them to handle right now this is why they pull away they pull away because they give themselves the space to process those emotions okay but i do see that there is certain demons or there are certain pain that your person needs to confront head on okay and they need to certain things that they need to learn to let go because they're still holding on to these behavioral patterns okay it could be emotional patterns behavioral patterns um but they're not they're not healthy okay they have these patterns have hindered and have sabotaged them in the past and will continue to do so until they interrupt those patterns okay not an easy task but a very powerful one if they can you know if they can do that it will transform them and it will transform this connection i love the queen of pentacles energy here because this is such a nurturing caring energy i feel like there's a strong feminine quality to your person a feminine energy regardless of whether this person is a you know is a masculine or a feminine there's just this feminine wonderful caring energy um i feel like your person cares about you and i feel like they care about people deeply and i think it's because that they care that they've allowed themselves to be so hurt in the past because they do care um and oftentimes the people that are most guarded or the people feel like you know most closed off or the people that come off as so called a distance are the ones who cared who once cared too much and unfortunately they learned the hard way that not everyone has you know their best interests or intentions at heart and they've been hurt in the pain and it's a in the past sorry and it's a pain that they still hold on to so their intentions are very sincere they're very uh, pure do they have demons yes do they have insecurities anxieties or flaws that they're battling with yes um do they have patterns that are sabotaging that are destructive or um you know unhealthy yes they do and are these powerful enough to hinder or even end this connection unfortunately yes but they also have the power to confront those demons that are nipping at their ankles okay confront the pain confront head on and deal with it okay because what you give power to has power over you and unfortunately to me it just feels like your person is giving power to whatever this is okay but speaking of the devil's energy i feel like this very much is um an indication i feel like i'm drawn to this card most for you in the spread here because it's an indication of what they feel for you okay so strong levels of attraction this person absolutely feels like you're gorgeous you're very attractive um they can't take their eyes off you they're obsessed with you okay they're thinking about you i mean i don't know what you've done to this individual but you send them it's almost like if you take a look at the devil it's almost like he's got this hypnotic stare going on and the longer you stare it's almost like 
you know, he puts you in this hypnotic trance, right? Um, so it's like this, it's like you have them under a spell. They feel intoxicated. They feel addicted. You know what? They feel what you feel. So you don't need me to tell you what you feel because you feel the intensity. You feel the attraction too. They feel that chemistry. They feel that energy. They feel it too. Except with you, I think you're more willing to, you know, go into this head on whereas with them they're a little bit reluctant because of what we discussed i'm going to leave this reading at that and i am going to continue on with those messages in part two of the reading i did say that there is a lot of contact or communication there is going to be this breakthrough we want to explore when and how that is going to happen and what exactly is the future of this connection because the concern here is that there is such a large presence of fee in the reading that it can be powerful enough to stop this connection so i want to pose a question to to you and to the energies here will it will the fee consume them and will the fee be the thing that stops or ends this connection robs the, both of you of the opportunity to explore this wondrous connection that you share so follow me via the extension link below i just want to take the time to thank you guys uh, for all of your time for all of your attention and your energy it is greatly appreciated if you haven't yet showed your support to the channel please do show either by liking sharing or subscribing to this channel and also don't forget to hit that notification bell it just lets you know when i upload um my readings next otherwise guys thanks again bye for now